dental lobes. It is the primary center of growth and calcification present during the crown development. These lobes mature into cusp, mammalons and cingulum. All interior teeth show trace of four lobes. Three labial lobe, each lobe in incisor terminate incisally in rounded eminence known as mammalons. These mammalons wear off with time and use. Maxillary central incisor often show trace of fusion of three lobes on the labial face by visible marking in the enamel called labial grooves. One lingual lobe which is represented by cingulum. Minimum four lobes are required for tooth formation. In anterior teeth, the four lobes are mesial, labial, distal and lingual lobes. In premolar, they are called mesial, buccal, distal and lingual lobes. In mandibular second premolar, it has two lingual cusp. That is, two more lobes that are mesolingual lobe and distolingual lobe. So in total it has five lobes that are mesial, buccal, distal, mesolingual and distolingual lobes. The molar lobes are named the same as the cusp. For example, mesiobuccal lobe. The tip of each cusp represents the primary center of formation of each lobes. Variations are seen in number of lobes in molars. Tubercles of enamel may be found in addition to the primary lobes. When present, they are usually smaller than and supplementary to the major lobe. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.